Greetings, everybody, and welcome to this Justin Norman channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and share. And today, we're going to be discussing season six of one of my beloved TV shows that I absolutely love. And I don't know if you all have checked it out, but it is a very, very good piece, a very good show. And it's on Netflix, and they have an average of six to eight episodes, and oh my god, they are so good and so compelling and and fitting in so little in six to eight episodes and stuff. And they got you on the seat of your pants. The show is called Peaky Blinders. But like I said, it's one of my most beloved shows and it's going in season six. If you're not a Peaky Blinder fan, I suggest you stop this discussion and go check it out. I truly have and can relate in so many ways. They're gypsies return from war, World War I, England. They called, they are, <clears throat> the gypsies were and are still considered to be second rate citizens in their homeland of England and across the world. A lot of them are in the U.S. because they don't have that stigma, but they also do stick together a lot, though, too. You know that they have their own like communities and stuff like that. They live in trailers or small communities and stuff like that. But they're, it's a different society, which I'm not here to judge them. It is what it is. I say this as I can relate as I'm an Irish descent. My mother was born in Ireland and I grew up there and it was very different. But to get into this, what is next for Britain's favorite crime family? The most recent installment of the Netflix byway of BBC drama Peaky Blinders wrapped up its fifth season with a cliffhanger final that left more questions unanswered than result. Between failed schemes, surprising survivals, and shocking returns, the last episode of season five threw things in the chaos of Tommy Shelby and the rest of his old-fashioned Razor Gang. With the production of the sixth and final season currently underway, it will be a while before we get to see more of Peaky Blinders. But for now, here's everything we know about the upcoming season. And I want to throw into there too as well that I've watched this this show over and over, probably at least five to ten times. The same thing with me with uh, Ultra Carbon season one. I probably have done the same thing with that. So. <clears throat> When will Piggy Blinders Season 6 premiere? With the pandemic quarantine in place for nearly all of 2020, Piggy wasn't able to start production in early 2020 as they had hoped. But you can't keep a good gangster down. And after a year of now, the show is officially back in production as of January 2021 with Killian Murphy himself spotted sporting his character, dark coat and hat amid smoking filled streets of Manchester. In March of 2020, director Anthony Byrne posted a moody photo of Instagram with the caption, we were so close to start of filming season six months of hard work on our very talented, dedicated hard work crew. Sets were built, costumes were made, cameras and lenses tested, locations booked, all the prep was done. It's a real shame not to be able to make it for you all this time. He also thanked his cast and crew members and assured us we would start again as soon as possible. During quarantine, Bird had gone live to answer fan questions on Instagram and shares updates on the status of the show. He also shared a letter to fans from star Kelly and Murphy in which he sent up his love and said that his character, Tommy Shelley, would probably be busy writing volume one of his memoirs. Tommy Shelby, the pre-war years in quarantine, that's something I would definitely like to read. And I think by now he's definitely cutting his own hair with his hat while smoking a cigarette. Given all this, it's likely we won't be seeing him until season six in late 2021. That's all right, though, you know, and all that. Um, it, like I said, if you haven't checked it out, please do. Is season six the last season? It, they say yes and no. The bad news is on January 8th, when the BBC confirmed that season six had just started production, they also confirmed that it would be the last it's likely the year's delay caused by the pandemic shut down the acceleration of the network's plans to end the show with the next season. The good news is that the show's creator, Stephen Knight, said the Peaky Blinders would indeed live on in another form. 
which I am glad. But BBC is going through a, a rough patch right now, too, as well, anyways. It looks like they're going to sell off BBC and stuff because it's just losing money, like, left and right. And after the disaster of Doctor Who and all that, Deadline reported in 2018 that we there were talks with BBC about the potential of season 7, and the Knights has previously start, stated that he was aiming for a seventh season. My ambition is to make it a story of failing between two wars. So always, I wanted to, in the end, be the first air, air raid siren of Birmingham in 1939, Knight said at the 2018. It'll take three more series to reach that point, given Knight's intention and the series' success. Could there be a conclusive movie in the works, or maybe a BBC will relent and give Shelby family one more round of season six? To the end, and, you know, whatever, you know, whatever happens, happens. What's the plot of Peaky Blinders Season 6? Season 5 final was a bit of a doozy. Tommy had an entire scheme to take out his political rival, Oswald Mosley, a British fascist who did, in fact, exist in real life. That's the one thing I like about this show is they cherry pick a lot of stuff from history and they put it in the show. And I really appreciate that. And Tommy broke out Barney, an expert sniper and old war buddy, in the order to kill Mosley during the political rally. Of course, it backfired, ending with Shelby Alley, Abraham Gold dead, Tommy putting a gun to his head at the end of the episode. Mosley, however, is still very much alive, leaving Fury unresolved the thread that will surely carry into the next season. I have to say, too, they get... A very I, I've read a lot of history of British history during World War One, uh, the return of people and soldiers and stuff like that, you know, and they've really, really grasped the the environment of that time period. And it's very rare to get that. That's when like I'm talking about Hell on Wheels with the Anson Mountain, stuff like that, um, about um the time of reconstruction around 1865 and stuff like that. It's just, they really grasp it and stuff because I've read a lot of that. So the big question at hand, however, is how betrayed Tommy and the cause his plan to fail. We have some thoughts, of course. Season six must also further grapple with Tommy's suicidal intentions. We're assuming that he doesn't die after season five, given the actor clean Killian Murphy has been spotted on set. And a telltale sign that the actor will continue to star in the show. <clears throat> but you got to remember, too, is, you know, World War One was probably more brutal than World War Two, And I can't imagine, um, you know, I think we lost a lot more people in World War One than we lost, you know, in World War Two. And granted, it was a different time, of course. There was only a 20 or 30 year gap between World War One and World War Two. You know, so, um, but, um, yeah, past that, we also know that season six will be delved into Gina's influential American family, as well as people from Oswald Mosley's sir, uh, social circuit. That being said, we won't be seeing much of American mob. I think it's a bit of a minefield because it's been done a lot. Series creator, Michael Stephen Knight told Digital Spy, Knight has no intention to touch the likes of Al Capone at any point in Peaky Blinders' future. The new season will take us up to 1934, where things are worse, Knight told. The drumbeat is getting louder. Tensions are worse. Tommy is right in the middle of it all. Again, it will be an exploration of what has gone going on in the 30s and how things Certain things transpired. We can expect season six to be just a firmly mirrored in the politics of time of season five and nights, according to Knight. It's a tragedy. And this also touches upon the great crash of 1930s as well, too. And so it's it's very interesting and stuff and how it affected everybody across the globe. This show is one of the most underrated and underreported shows on TV while streaming. It plays Lucy with time, the people, but it is a really good gangster, gypsy life, and another time. I love Killian Murphy. is such a great actor. Let me know what you think all down below. Take care, everybody. Bye.